Right, so following on from our basic experiment where we put some oasis in some water and put some carbon felt on top of it and got an increase in evaporation, what I did was make this. So this is a solar still. So the oasis and carbon go in the bottom here. And on the top here, we have a Fresnel lens. This is the size of the Fresnel lens I've got. That's why the still's that size. The Fresnel lens slides in there and overlaps that bit of open plastic pipe. But the idea is evaporation happens, we get condensation on the lens, it drips down into the pipe and that's where we get our water from. Obviously, if we expose all of that to the sun, it's going to get hot, so let's give it a bit of a shade. So put a shade on it so that we've got a difference between the bit the sun's hitting and the bit that gets a chance to cool. And then we should be able to collect the water at the bottom there. So I shall put that together, seal it up with a load of sealant, give it a clean so it's nice and shiny white. And then we're going to put some oasis across the bottom. Because the idea here is it's not a fixed still, it's not something that sits somewhere. What you do is you take this and you drop it on a spoiled water source. And then the oasis will wick the water up, the carbon felt will evaporate it, and it should collect there. So that's the kind of plan with it. Now obviously there's a lot of uses for this. I mean if you put this into a boat, you could just chuck that in the sea, because remember this thing floats, and it will collect fresh water for you. Now clearly, as it floats, that pipe there would actually maybe bob in and out of the water. But you would just have to do something about that. And I can think of loads of things. We need to keep that water line low. So if we attached here another bit of rubber pipe and put it into a glass jar with the weight on it, so the weight pulled the glass jar down below this, then we'd be able to collect the water in a scenario like that. So the fact the pipe is like that, it's not a killer to the design. So. Please don't point it out, I've already covered it. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So the next time you see this, it'll actually all be finished. So I wanted to show it at this stage so that you've got an idea of how it's made. And it's obviously really simple. It's just a box with an angle on it that can take the Fresnel lens. And then there's a bit there with a shade and there's a bit of open pipe in it. Now that's um, going to be a little more obscure when it's together. So I wanted to show you that now. Okay, there's it finished. Carbon felt on the top, oasis on the bottom, stick it on some water, we're ready to go. All I've got to do is slide in the Fresnel lens, which is here, and then put some sealant around it and let's stick it in some muddy water. Okay, so here is my simulated muddy pond. Remember, this thing's supposed to float, so I've got a tray here that I'm going to pour some water in, and I've got a pan there I'm going to collect it. I'll throw a cloth over that pan to stop the wind blowing it away. It's kind of sunny, kind of cloudy, so we'll see what we get. I've got a stopwatch. What I'm going to do is pour some water in here, keep an eye on it, and time how much we get um, throughput on there as a kind of estimate of how that solar cell works. Okay, I changed the pan for a piece of metal that I've got. Um, but if you look at that, you can see that starting to seem steam up almost immediately, actually. Anyway, I've set the timer going. It's had 33 seconds. Let's see what happens in a while. Okay, so that was a learning experience. So I tried it with a number of things, actually. I tried it with the spot Fresnel lens first, and all that really happened was it heated an area, uh, and an area got hot and the rest of it remained cold. So then I uh, swapped it out for an anticular lens, and I don't think it was doing particularly well, so I swapped it for just a bare bit of plastic. I think when the um, water vapour actually condenses on the lens, it just stops it working as a lens. I guess it's a change in the nature of the surface. But it seemed to work just as well with a sheet of plastic or a lenticular Fresnel lens and a spot Fresnel lens didn't seem to work particularly well at all, to be honest. Uh, it produces about 100 millilitres an hour, given a sunny English day. And it was kind of sunny, kind of cloudy. A lot more sun than yesterday, but still not particularly warm and sunny. So uh, from my reading, actually, that's a tremendous amount of output. Bear in mind, the area of this is actually about the size of A4. So an A4 is 297 by 210 millilitre, millimetres. This is um, 30 centimetres by 16 centimetres. So more or less the same area. Now, obviously, there's a whole lot of improvement. I made this from my old favourite builder's board, and that acts as an insulator. It's white on this bit to do a bit of reflection out, so we get a shared area. A reflector in there would re work really well. I also found that the angle was quite critical. So when the water droplets form, if they don't run down, they'll just collect in a little pocket and drip back in. So that happened for a little while till I changed the angle on it. I made the angle a little bit steeper. 
I wouldn't mind trying a piece of glass because I think just ordinary glass is going to do awesomely. So I may actually do a bit of glass. But there we go, that's uh, an improved solar cell using extremely cheap materials uh, and the output actually I thought was fine. I still think there's a lot of improvement and I'm quite sure that you guys are going to be able to improve this far better than I can. But the idea is just you stick this on top of a muddy pool, no preparation, and it will distill the pool out for you and give you fresh water. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the two videos and thank you very much for watching.